For those of you who have photographed a few panoramas and stitched them together inside Photoshop Elements, you'll immediately recognize some of the problems associated with this series of four images. Shot handheld, uh, they're overlapping, yes, which is what we need for a panorama, but because they've been shot handheld, they're a bit wonky, not quite straight on, and can cause real issues when you actually stitch them together. In particular, the problem occurs when we end up with some ragged edges or some parts of the photo that we normally have to crop away or use something like the clone stamp tool to rebuild missing detail in order to create a bigger version of the panorama. Well in another implementation of the content aware fill technology Photoshop Elements 9 provides you with the option to clean up the edges of these stitched panoramas. The fill option adds extra created details into the transparent areas around the border of the new panorama. It's a great automatic option that provides fantastic results probably 85 to 90 percent of the time which means that you then might need to jump in with the clone stamp tool still to do some final adjustments but you're pretty much there you're pretty much at the final result using this new tool. So what we'll do to demonstrate this is select the first image, go through, hold down shift and then select the last image or because we're working in the organizer workspace we could just click and drag a marquee around all source files. Once we've done that we'll go up to file and then down to new and across to photo merge panorama. Now what happens is all of the images are opened up into the editor workspace and the photo merge dialog box is opened up as well. I'll select cylindrical uh, as this provides us with the best way to to get a rectangular shape to our uh, stitched panorama especially if we're using wide-angle lenses and especially if they've been shot handheld. I'm also going to go down and select vignette removal and geometric distortion correction as two other options that will try and blend and match our images as best as possible. And of course I'll need to go through and click add open files so that we end up with the images that are open inside the editor workspace listed in the central part of our photo merge dialog. I'll then click OK and what Elements does is goes off and opens all of those images first and if you have a look in the layers palette you'll see that Elements is opening those images and layering them up into a single document. It will then go and try and align the overlapping sections of the panorama. Once it's done that, it'll go through and try and blend those sections. With the blending completed, you'll see a new dialog box appear, which will ask us whether we wish to get content aware fill to build the missing detail. And just before I click yes, I want you to have a look at the edges of this panorama. So you can see there's some transparent edges where because we've shot handheld these parts of the picture are missing. These parts of the picture are also missing because we've shot with a wide angle lens and you'll see the circular or spherical nature of uh, the way in which the images have been adjusted in order to get them to stitch into a panorama. So let's go ahead and click yes and get Photoshop Elements to rebuild this lost detail. And I think you'll be surprised at just how well it does work. There we go. You can see that it's done a pretty good job, especially in areas of detail like the grass. Let's zoom in a little bit and just have a look at the top of the building because I'll know that I'll need to do a little bit more extra work there. You can see that some of the columns have been repeated and that some of the columns haven't been, um, I guess, reproduced into the areas where they should have been. So what I will need to do is to come back with the clone stamp tool just in these areas and make the adjustments necessary. So I'll just go and select the clone stamp tool and in this case what I'm going to do make sure that sample or layers are turned on in my options bar, hold down the alt key and then paint through some of these areas. And you can see that we can get a preview of what's being painted. If you want to get this edge here, you'll need to select the edge first and then paint through. 
and you can see I can paint with the edge as I'm moving through and I'll gradually build up the lost detail that's there. But as I said before pretty much all of the job has been done for us so if I zoom back out again you'll see that the results are pretty good straight off the bat and if you don't want to go ahead and do some extra clone stamp work remember you can always come through grab the cropping tool and crop out the offending areas but we still get a much better result than if we just stitched and then we're left with the transparent ragged edges.